Hello, Rob from Fencing Pen Journey with a pen review. Now this pen has been knocking around for about a year now. Um, it's the Moonman C1. Um, and what do I think? Well, to be honest, when it came out, I was really interested in the design of this pen. Um, it is unusual. It is very well made. And I watched the reviews and I thought, that sounds like an interesting looking pen. Huge ink capacity, eye dropper pen. Um, but one thing that really put me off put me off was the price. These things, when they came out, were retailing for I don't know, 25, 30 pounds, which for you know a bit of turned acrylic from China seems rather extortionate. So I decided completely against the purchase of this pen. However, um, towards the end of uh, December. Last, well, no, through, through the early part of November and December last year, 2019, um, Moonman released a snowflake edition of this pen, which had snowflakes and reindeers and Merry Christmas and stuff printed on the barrel, which, if you wanted a Christmas pen, could have been quite, uh, quite something. Um, once again, more expensive, so wasn't going to jump on that one. And... And eventually I opted to buy the Moonman M2 uh, Christmas or Snowflake edition and subscribers to my channel will know that I had about two, well I certainly had two or three attempts at trying to buy one of those pens from China and it just never happened sellers were sending just plain old M2s um, but one of the sellers actually said you know we'll give you a discount code as well as you know sending you a bit of a refund and I bought this one, the Moonman C1, and it was less than half price. I mean, it's stu stupidly in inexpensive for the pen. So, Moonman has got quite a good reputation, as far as the Chinese fans and pen brands go. And I'll talk about it in more detail as I go through the review. But let's just talk about the pen for now. So, it is rather a large pen. Let's get the Lamy Safari... No, Lamy All Star Tourmaline next to it. So, as you can see, it's very similar in size, just marginally a millimeter or so larger uh, than the uh, Lamy All Star. Clear, colourless, transparent demonstrator. And let's have a look at this acrylic, which is incredibly high quality acrylic. Really, really nice. Now you will notice there is one thing that this pen has, and that is a flat facet. It's a perfectly rounded um, pen, apart from a flat, I'm trying to get this to focus, flat facet up here. And it's great because it is, it's, you know, it's a cylinder, apart from this flat facet. And that flat facet is really useful. I mean, it isn't perfect but it is a roll stop so it won't roll away however it's, it's not like a clip it's not going to provide that amount of leverage so yeah it, it will roll off a desk um but as i can i mean i, I was impressed with this pen as soon as i uh, as soon as i tried it and it's really nice acrylic very clear there's no inclusions or anything in there looks absolutely fantastic it's not cheap plastic. This is a proper, nicely turned acrylic material. Uh, and the barrel, of course. Let's look at the finial down here. You see, useful magnifying glass. Um, yeah, really, really nice. Really good quality, solid acrylic. And you can see, let's get a bit of paper. Just use this plain bit of paper here. Now I've got quite a dark ink in here, but you can see that, let's just hold it this way for a moment while I talk. This barrel, eyedropper only, um, it will hold, it, actually no, it isn't eyedropper only, this pen also comes with a cartridge, uh, with a converter rather, so it will take a cartridge converter or a cartridge and you can eyedropper it, but why would you use a converter making this pen look ugly when you can eyedropper this thing, which it holds? Traffic noise around here is awful at the moment. I wouldn't believe I live in a rural village. Um, it holds 
about five millilitres of ink, which is absolutely huge. And it comes with a fine steel nib. So this is going to write for a very, very, very long time. I've been writing pages and pages with this pen, and I'm guessing I've probably used about half of the uh, ink in it. So really, really impressed with the ink capacity. So, yeah, it does come with a converter. We'll take cartridges too. But that just wouldn't look as nice. So unscrew the barrel. Now, you will notice that this flat facet is on the cap, and it is aligned with the facet on the barrel. So that, and that lines up perfectly every time. One turn, two turns. It's about two and two third turns to uncap. You can't post it, so fortunately the roll stop stops it rolling off a desk, but if you've got a slight incline on your desk, it will roll off. Medium, fine, steel nib which my camera is not going to focus on with the moon man logo and every there we go moon man uh yeah so we've got all the moon man nib stuff going on down there and the section is this blue and red marbled and sparkly acrylic which in my view is it lets it down a bit it's actually quite an attractive material, but I think it it detracts from the pen. I would have much preferred to have seen a transparent acrylic feed. Um, size of it, well, yeah, really nice length to this section. Threads, you're not feeling them at all, and they are smooth. There is a step up to the barrel, but that's way up here, and you really don't notice that. And it's not the sharpest of edges. Eyedropper in the pen's easy. Just basically fill it with ink to about there and make sure you have some silicone uh, grease on the threads of the section. Screw the section in, wipe off the excess silicone grease which exudes from here on the section and you're good to go. So you've got a decent sized, nicely girthy pen. This is not a thin little thing. I mean, we'll just have a look side by side again next to the... Uh, Next to the Lamy All Stars, you can see a lot. It is a lot girthier. Let's have it top the way on. There we go. So it, it it's, it's definitely girthier. It's a good size. It's not hugely heavy. I mean, bearing in mind that this has only got a um, now a fifty percent ink fill. Let's just do a quick weight check for you because. When you've got a pen like this, it could be of interest to some of you. 21.9 capped. Uncapped, 16.2. So not a hugely heavy pen. Decent size, decent weight though. Very comfortable. Good for long writing periods. So let's get on to the writing sample. I'm going to and do this over the camera which never goes particularly well so moon man c1 with a fine steel nib the ink just before we go too much further into this is diamine teal so what does this pen write like? Well, it is a fine nib, and I'm not a huge fan of fine nibs at the best of times, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. So, I'll just finish off this. Show you how wet it is. Decently wet, but, but, keep watching. As far as line variation goes, I mean, it is a fine nib. You can squeeze a bit out, but it's, yeah, it's just not really, it's just, no, don't bother. Um, if you push this too far, it's very likely to spring. It's just not a pleasant writing experience. But you can squeeze a little bit out. 
Now, Moon Man nibs, generally I'm not a massive fan of them. Um, they're okay, but that is pretty much it. Reverse writing is possible. And I would say that that is a fine or an extra fine. This is a fine nib. I've done absolutely nothing with this nib. But all I can say about it is that when I first got it, I hated this pen. I thought it was an absolute disaster. Um, it was really fine, really dry, and a little bit scratchy. I didn't do anything with it. I just wrote a lot, and it broke the nib in. And now, I'd say it's medium... Well, I'd, I'd say it's fine to uh, fine to medium. And it does a really good job of writing. It now really keeps up well with my extended writing periods, which this pen is absolutely perfect for. And it lays down loads and loads of ink really, really well. No hard starts. Nothing like that. It's really, really good. So I haven't actually tinkered with it. So, as you can tell, the uh, this is not one of those pens which is going to always write out of the box really well. My wife is making. Hello. <laughs> yeah, she, if you remember her from the last video, she's making the dogs bark now as well. Um, yeah, remember her from my uh, previous video? Yeah, she's she's still here. We're still on lockdown together. We haven't murdered each other yet. Um, <laughs> anyway, just talking. Bit more about this nib. It's not the uh, it's not the absolute best nib, but n to be honest, I never find Moon Man, Moon Man nibs to be the best at all. Um, when you compare them with the likes of Pen BBS, things like that, these nibs are always a little bit underwhelming, a little bit dry, a little bit scratchy, a little bit unpleasant. But this one has bedded in well, and now it's really quite usable. So, there we have it. Moonman C1. Do I like it? Absolutely. Definitely gets a thumbs up. I don't like the colour of the section. That is just... That, that, that's a spare that they had in the factory and stuck it in there. As for the, uh, the pen itself, absolutely great. The nib could be better, so that's 50-50. I'm not entirely sold on that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.